is this going to have sort of meaningful ripple effects, do you think? Or do you think it's going to be forgotten by January? You know, I think it will, but I think it's going to take time. Um, you know, what we're already seeing is these later stage wobbles affecting the C rounds, the B rounds, and actually now the A rounds. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got great companies who, you know, are frankly struggling to raise at a valuation pot based on what they, they raised the last round at. So what we're trying to do is be more conservative about the valuations that we place on the companies when we fund them. Because what we want to be able to see is, you know, you go from raising your A at X and your B at Y and show a meaningful progression as you move through the stages. And frankly, when you have a company with almost zero revenue going out at like a $20 million post because it was super hot, that doesn't really do anybody any good. It's bad for the company, it's bad for the investors, and frankly, it's bad for everybody else who looks around and says, like, holy shit, you know, this company did that, why can't we? And I think that's the cycle that we've seen ourselves going through over the last two or three years, and I think it's kind of on everybody involved, both on the investor side, actually, and on the entrepreneur side, to try and rein in that enthusiasm. We talk about a bubble and a bubble bursting, but it's not going to burst. It's just going to contract. Mm -hmm. And that's really the natural order of things. You know, the economy goes up and down. We're seeing a bit of slowdown now, and it will take time, but it will move back up again in the future.